Hello and welcome to the continuation of my Ultima 4 series. So we're going to continue on today. I did a little bit of work off camera and I've discovered some things. And so rather than do some sort of a montage video or something, uh, I'm going to show you what I found uh, because apparently I, I'm an idiot. Well, we knew that. That's not news. But in some cases, I'm an idiot. In some cases... There was, there was areas that I kind of forgotten about, and we have resources now to get into them. So we're going to start off by going over here to British, or Britain, enter the town. We'll have to take care of those rogues when we come out. They'll be waiting for us. Uh, the one thing we were missing from this area was information about the shrine. We've got everything else we need. We've got the, um, the the mantra. We've got the rune. We just need to know where the stinking shrine is. And last time we tried to go and find the shrine and we were unsuccessful. So we need to talk to this gentleman. I can't remember if we talked to him before or not. I think we probably did. What is your job? He's looking for Julio. Well, who's Julio? He knows the true nature of compassion. Okay. Art thou on the quest of the Avatar? Why, yes, we are. Find the Shrine of Compassion east across two bridges. Okay, so that's the clue we needed as far as where the Shrine of the Avatar or the Shrine of Compassion may be. Uh, so I think that's all we need from him, although we do, do need to find this Julio guy. And I happen to know where he's hiding out if Shapiro will get out of our stinking way. There's a secret room up here I don't think I ever noticed. And up here we've got Yuli, uh, Julio. I don't know why I went Julio. Julio. So uh, what's your job? I seek the true nature of things. Okay. Nature. All things have a true nature. Dost thou know the true nature of all things? No, I don't. No mortal can. Okay, so I don't know exactly what it is I'm supposed to get from this guy. If I ask him about mortal, I get that. If I do nature, I get that again. If I say yes, he'll say that I'm a braggart and a liar. Uh, I know that before on my previous time. I didn't save that. I don't want to do it now because I don't want to hit my honesty score. So I don't think there's anything else I need from this guy. I don't think there's one stinking thing I need from this guy um, at this point, unless there's, unless I get a clue later on that, that he's important about something. But at this point, um, I don't, I wouldn't know what to ask him. If I try to ask him about, you know, love, nope, courage, nope, what's the third thing? Um, love, courage, truth, I think is the third principle. If I remember correctly, yep. If I could spell it. Truth. So yeah, I don't know what else I'm supposed to get from this guy. So I think we will uh, bid adieu to, to Julio and come out here. And let's bring up the map real quick and take a look at the map. So I was looking around in the area around Lord British's castle in Britain here inside of the serpent spine. And the clue was, is that it's to the east beyond two bridges. Now, if you look uh, beyond the serpent spine heading east, uh, almost to Lock Lake, it's actually kind of just on the, on the far western edge there. It looks like there are two bridges there that will lead to the land that is due south of Lock Lake. I'm guessing that's where we have to go for the um, Shrine of Compassion. So hopefully in this episode, we're going to go check that out and at least try to find it. We should be able to um, spend some time um, uh, meditating there, but we'll probably only have time to meditate once since it, it, it wants you to um, have, have a bit of time between. Uh, but I think we're done now here in Britain. We found everything we need to find. So let's continue on. We, we do have some areas that we've not yet seen over in Lord British's castle. So let's go and head that way. First, we got to deal with these guys. All right. So I'm going to kind of help out Julie a little bit because her accuracy has been not very good. I don't know if it's just that she's so strong. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with her. 
Of course, I'm not really doing a lot better. But Iolo, the bard, is kicking butt and taking names. All right, he's fleeing. We're going to let him flee. I'm going to come over here and, and help Iolo. And Julia is just going to wait. Okay, so now flea guy is in the middle there. Once again, we're going to let him flee. All right, looks like we have two of them fleeing now. All right, interesting. We'll just let, uh, we'll just let, uh, I'll go, I'll, once again, we'll come over here and help, um, help, uh, Julia out. He's lightly wounded. Iolo's gonna pass for the moment. He's still lightly wounded. Now he's fleeing. So now we can chase him off the, off the grid. We'll just make him go away. We'll let him flee. Once again, I'm trying to work on my valor um, by letting these people flee. Let's uh, have Iolo grab that. 34 gold. Very nice. I, I do not know what this thing is. Uh, I don't really want to fight it. <laughs> the stuff in the ski sea is, is like super duper scary. All right. Out of my way, you. All right. So if we come over here. We have the secret room here. We were in here before. There was somebody out here that we talked to. But there's another secret room up here. And then if we descend in the ladder, I thought, that, oh, we have to climb. I'm sorry, we're on the first floor. We get up here into this area. And looky, 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 locked doors. If only we had a way to open locked doors. Well, as a matter of fact, we do. We still have, um, if I look at our stats here, we still have, oh, I forgot about the oil. I'll have to try that out sometime soon. Um, we still have all six of our keys. So, excellent. So we're going to do the Jimmy Lock command. We need to do it to the west, and it opens... It opens that, that lot. And, and the people, the, the guards don't really seem to mind. You know, they, they don't come and attack. Or anything. Um, L-E-I-G-E. Yep, okay. So so they don't they don't pre prevent me. So I'm now this is the front entrance way. We're kind of looking over there. So we're kind of looking over that. And we've got another uh, one we can jimmy. Now over if if enough time passes, they'll come back and they will relock these things. So it's kind of important to have enough keys. We may have to go back over to Vesper at some point and stock up on some more. Let's talk to this guy. Okay, so let's see what this wise mage has got to say for himself. All right, so do you have a name, good sir? I am Zorin. Okay, so what's your job? You seem to be held prisoner here. I am here to help thee. Oh, I do love it when people help me. Seek help in the castles. The Lyceum, Empath Abbey, and Serpent's Castle. Now, we knew about all three of those, I believe, uh, from previous from uh, previous things. So uh, we have yet to have been to go to the Serpent's Castle, but we've been to both the Lyceum and the Empath Abbey, although we still have some things to find at those. Wilt thou go hither? Yes, I will definitely go thither. Find therein all named Antos and ask of the bell, book, and candle. Okay, so we know some things. We know some things here. So we know that candle is is for love which i believe is empath abbey um so then there's truth and there is courage um bell book and candle so probably i'm not quite sure if it's going to be the you know so so between truth and courage one's going to have the bell and one's going to have the book so we need to ask about we need to ask about that stuff. And apparently at each of these locations, there's going to be somebody named Antos um, who is going to, to tell us about these things. So 
That is some good information. Now, what can you tell us about the bell? Good, sir. Can you tell us anything else? Any other, anything else you could tell us? You can't help us about that. You can't tell us about the book. Candle. How about Antos? Okay, so that was interesting. Some interesting information. But you notice we have a, a secret room here. And, okay, so this, oh, this is, we saw a mage in this cell. We saw a mage in this cell. So that's that mage. So he's, he can come out here and, and be in his little private space. Or he can be up with, if he wants to, um, to look like a good prisoner. Now we do have, and of course there's a guard standing right in front of it. We do have another secret passage right here. So let's go and see what's in here. Oh, oh, it's that scary thing. Also from the prison, but presumably it's not going to attack me. Let's try to talk to it. I meet a reaper. Those things are called reapers. Okay. The name and the way they look is frankly terrifying. Mr. Reaper. What is it you do here? <laughs> I kill adventurers. Oh, joy. I'm not an adventurer. I'm a baker. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, that's terrifying. That's ter I'm terrified. Have I mentioned that lately? I'm terrified. Okay, so you like to kill. It turns away. All right, job. Well, let's see. His job is to kill adventurers. It turns away. Do you want to escape? Adventurer. Quest. So apparently his only purpose here really is to strike fear into my heart. But at least now we know what it is, and we know that um, it wants to eat me. Not that that's super duper, super duper surprising. Okay, I don't think there was on, any good news is we got out of here before they relocked the doors, so we do not have to use another key. And I don't think there's any other secret passages along here. I am not seeing any. I think that was the stuff I, I, I noticed when I was just kind of speed lunking around. Let's descend and make sure there's not something else down there. Um, let's see. So this that's where we came from. Yep. And we've been in here before. We've talked to this bozo, I think. A shepherd is both strong and beautiful. Beautiful. What's your job here? I touch the water. It brings me peace. I come from a proud city. Oh, this is probably where we learned about, about Magencia. Art thou proud? Nope. I'm cruel and vicious, but I'm not proud. My town was destroyed for its pride. The ruins lie on an isle, lat latitude KJ and la longitude LL. And, and I've had this written down since the first time we came through here. And I don't know where on the map that is. Um, actually, if, if I'll, I'll bring up the map briefly here. If the upper right um, corner is AA, if you will, um, with, with an A through whatever going down, down the left side there and going across the top, then probably, you know... These these values are probably going to be someplace, I don't know, maybe behind the, the little cartouche where it says the land of Britannia, somewhere in that area. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. I mean, we can get there by Moongate, but maybe we'll find out when we get a ship and we can sail in that area and see if we can if we can actually track that down. Not that it really matters, but just of interest. Okay. So I think I think we are done with this beautiful and proud shepherdess she won't join us nope all my all my hopes of starting a, a harem are gone i don't remember what it was we we're supposed to find there was somebody out here right what was it we're supposed to get joshua okay what's your job i want to make sure we didn't miss anything i can help what can you help me with the riddle 
what riddle of the philosophies of Avatar combined into or are made from truth, love, and courage. We heard that from somebody else. Like, yes. What is one thing creates as, oh, this is that same riddle. I, it's that same riddle. What one thing creates and is created by all truth, all love, and all courage? How can something create all love, all truth, all courage, and be created by all truth, all love, and all courage. I don't get it. Virtue. 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 There we go. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Yeah. I don't, I, uh, me and riddles. I don't get it. Okay, so let's... I think that's everything I wanted to uh, to show you here in Britain's Castle. So I think it is time. Let's go to some area area we haven't been before. We haven't been um, in the area south of Lock Lake there, and we are going to try to find the Shrine of Compassion. There's the Moon Gate. We're going to ignore that for the nonce. And. I don't want to cross that bridge. Really, there's no reason to cross that bridge. That's the one that's close by there. And I just don't feel like mucking about with uh, if there's any any orcs. Um, I did find out what are considered evil and non-evil creatures. Um, so we do have that bit of information. Um, and, and things like orcs, they are considered evil creatures. So we are okay killing them. I still think we need to not kill them if they are trying to flee. Uh, but things like snakes and the bugs and stuff like that are considered, um, considered non-evil creatures. And so anything that, that, that might be analogous to a creature we might know in real life um, is somebody that um, we shouldn't be killing. We can, we're supposed to like entice them to flee. So I, I guess it's kind of the same as what we've been doing with the orcs. We fight them until, um, until they want to flee and then we let them flee. Okay, so let's take care of these guys. This should be pretty easy, easy thing. Okay, he was killed. He was fleeing. Rats. Are you fleeing? He's fleeing. All right, flee, 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 flee. Get going, flee. I'm just gonna pass. Try to get this guy moving. They take their sweet time. He's got to meander about. Good thing is he doesn't have any ranged capabilities. All right, get, and we'll have Iolo do it. 71 gold. Okay, ugh. How am I doing on cure spells? I have one cure spell. Uck. And I think... Uh, is this the only way? Do I have to go... Yeah, this is the lake here. This river goes directly into the lake. And I would have to cross, ah, golly. I'd have to cross all that. And basically, if I do that, people are going to die, potentially, if we get rats. All right, well, we'll. I guess we'll have to wait. I guess we'll have to wait. We got to go back. Maybe we'll go over here and we'll take the moon gate and we'll go back to moon glow and buy some more stuff. Um... I will take a just a quick peek and see what it takes to make more cure spells. And maybe, just maybe, I might luck out. So what I need is I need garlic and ginseng. So what do I have? I do have garlic and ginseng. So I can make two more so that would give us each one. But then if I need to get back, ugh. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I want to reset. I don't think I want to reset. So let's go find. There's. There's that. So the moon gate's like somewhere in here. 
Um, moon glow is once again uh, the new moon. It's fully black. Lord Bruce's castle here is going to be um, uh, just the, the crescent on the left side. Um, so we need that combination. I think we can get there from here, but not this cycle. Okay, we're up here by you. Um, I was just not getting the right combination. So we're going to wait here and see if we can, from you, make it back to Moonglow. Okay, we've ended up someplace different. Oh, we're back at Yalom is where we, we are. We are at Yalom because there's the uh, shrine across the water down there. So that's the Shrine of Valor. So we are at Yalom. I'm having a really bad time trying to get the Moon Glow. So let's see if we can get the Moon Glow from here. Okay, we are not at Moon Glow. Uh, I got tired of waiting. And um, so we are here. And where I think we are, if I bring up the map, we are at one of the towns that we've not been to. So if you see the Spirit Wood kind of there uh, in the middle on the uh, western side of the map and on a little island, uh, one of three, we see that there is a moon gate and that's the one we went to. So I believe this is going to be Scarabray. Let's explore and find out. And yes, indeed do. This is Scarabray. Okay, um, we've got what looks like a demonic horse. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a demonic horse or a goat, but we do seem to have a welcoming party. There should be a companion here. Hopefully, now, now Scar Bray is the land of um spirituality and i believe that was one of the things that hawkwind said i was doing pretty good in for some reason so let's see what happens um let's at least talk to this guy a solemn ranger what's your job here i'm guessing that your job here is to welcome me no his job is to seek the inner light i seek the one great truth interesting what is the one great? Oh, this is the spirituality. That which lies within the codex. Yeah, that's our end game on this thing. Uh, truth. I did that already. That which lies within the codex. Within. If I could type. Codex. Abyss. Okay, you're strange. Let's talk to this person. I am white, a gallant fighter. What's your job? I quest. Yeah, oddly enough, so do I. Many quests are very dangerous. Art thou, fear art thou fearless in all things? Yeah. Boastful fool. Oh, crap. Um... I'll say no. Danger is real. Yeah, I know danger is real. I'm not afraid of tomorrow. I've seen yesterday, and I love today. He's got a girlfriend named Love. Is that what you're saying? I thought he might be. No, I thought he might be on the on the path toward joining. There, I am white. Okay, let's talk to. He's a mage, a wise mage. What's your name, wise mage? Carlisle. What do you do here? I write magic. Dost thou believe in magic? I darn well better because I cast spells. Magic missiles need but one part ash. Yeah, I've done magic missiles and they're they're not really all that I all that great. Okay, you can't sell me anything, huh? Well, I don't know that you're very helpful. Uh, actually, what I should be doing, shrine, mantra, 
rune. I need to be because we we need all we need all of these things. We need all the things. Rune. Okay. All right. Let's talk to. Did I already talk to this guy? Yeah, this was white, right? Yes. So let's ask him about the shrine. Let's ask him about the rune. Let's ask him about the mantra. All right, white, you're you're spectacularly unhelpful. A wise bard, he says, I am Dickens. What's your job? What a shock! I write stories. All right. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Stories are good for the spirit. Spirit. Remember, no one is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of others. Art thou good in nature? Well, I do try. Be sure thy, be sure thy net good well exceeds thy net evil. All right. That's a good that's a good thing there. All right, so shrine, rune, mantra. Oh man! All right, can I talk to the onk? A silver onk. I am the onk of spirituality. Cool. I can talk to the onk. I keep the secret of the rune. <laughs> <laughs> I need the mantra. All right. Well, we got to come back to you. We will be back. All right. So let's see what else there is here. Herbs. Herbs. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to Herbs. Are you in need of reagents? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. We've got two places down to buy herbs. That is beyond awesome. Yes. I have sulfur zaff, ginseng, garlic, spider silk, blood moss, black pearl. Okay, so, well, at a minimum, we need ginseng. Uh, four gold pieces. Like if I, uh, let's go with 20 times four would be 80. All right. Um, let's see if I can talk them down a little bit. All right. Save some bucks. I'm happy about that. Yes. Let's get some garlic. I sell garlic for nine gold pieces. How many would you like? All right, let's 20 times nine would be 180. Can I can I talk them down to 150? I can. All right, I need to look at I need to look at our stats. Let's see, look at our spells. Uh, so now I can make a, a just a metric buttload of cure spells. That's cool. Fireball. We are almost totally out of healing. We're a little low, but not too bad. So let's see. So if I want to make fireball, I need sulfur, ash, and black pearl. Okay. And what do I have of that? I already have four black pearl. I don't have any sulfur sash. Okay. Sulfur sash is usually pretty cheap. Um, healing, we've got three... And healing takes ginseng and spider silk. Spider silk. Um, I've got one spider silk. So maybe, ugh. How many, how many ginsengs do I have? Now? I got a lot of ginseng. So that'll be fine. I need to get some more spider silk. I need to get a little bit more black pearl. And I need to get some sulfurous ash. And so let's see what that does for us. Um, let's see if I can talk. Yes, I'm in need of reagent. So uh, I need sulfur ash, two gold pieces. Uh, ba -ba, let's buy, let's buy. So 50 times two would be 100. Ugh. Let's buy 25. That'll be 50. Can I get you down to 40? Excellent. Yes. Heal, I need spider silk. So spider silk. Uh, six gold pieces. Uh, let's get uh, ba -ba, 10 would be 60. Can I talk you down to 50? All right, good. And then lastly, for fireball, I need black pearl. Um, yes, 
I need black pearl. Eight gold pieces. Now, I, I have four already. Um, and I have two, so I have four. So if I make all of those, it, it, so if I was to get 10, that would be 80. Okay, that'll be good. And then I'll pay 70. All right. And blood moths. What do I need blood moths for? For blink, which we've never used. And for the open command, which we've never which we've we've yet to try because we haven't found a locked chest. Probably we will when we get to um and I have do I have blood moss? I have one blood moss. Eh, yeah, blood moss. E blood moss would be four gold pieces. So let's get three. I don't have four of them. Um just pay ten for that. Alright, good. Um all right, I think that's good. I think that's good. All right, I am very happy. I am very happy now that we have a secondary place. A presto, a, a wizard named Presto. Oh, presto, what is your job here? I cast great big spells. I can cast Jink, Kill, and View. Okay. Dost thou know what these spells have in common? Uh, jinx and kill and view. Hmm. It's, they probably have a particular, I'm going to say Mandrake. I'm going to say no. I'm not totally sure. Guess. I'm going to guess Mandrake. Not Mandrake. Nightshade. These are two ingredients that are very rare. And in fact, you really will probably never find them at, at either the herb, herb shops here or at um, Moonglow. So that's good news. Okay. Very, very good. Thank you for that information, sir. You've been a big help. All right. So let's, let's see what else there is here. I'm just overjoyed to get the reagents. Um, is this another welcome person? I am Miter, a Radiant Ranger. Ooh, Radiant. What is it you do here? I am reading the Wizard's Journal. What wizard? Do tell. What journal? It tells of the White Stone. Oh, we've heard about stones. Like the Stone of Valor is red, the Stone of Sacrifice is orange. We haven't heard about a white stone yet. We don't know what that is. It is no longer in the dungeon Hathloth. It is gone. Okay. Well, they'll try to recover it. Sure, yes, I think I need it. Ask of the stone at the tap intrinsic. We haven't been to intrinsic yet. That's now the last town. So that's that's a um, that's a good tip. Okay. We still haven't found the shrine or the mantra. We need the mantra to get the get it from the. <sighs> What's your job here? No job. What is it you do? You know anything about the shrine? You know anything about the mantra? Ah, yes, 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 yes. The mantra is Om. So that is the mantra for spirituality, which is kind of funny. Um, spirituality mantra is Om. Okay, cool. We just need one more to get our complete set. So do you know anything about the rune? Shrine, did I ask about the shrine? Okay. All right. So now if I go, did I ask? I don't think I asked. I mean, this person didn't offer. I cannot join thee. I'm guessing if they are, if it's possible to join thee, but I'm just not spiritual enough, they'll tell me. Kind of like, um, um, kind of like, uh, what's her face in you there that won't that won't tell me anything that won't join because i'm not 
val, uh, uh, not just enough. I beg, but for a single gold piece. Well, I'll be nice. I'll give her ten. Oh, thank thee. I shall never forget thy kindness. Oh, pl oh well, geez. Yeah, I just did. Dear kind soul, all right. I, just in case this stupid thing is going to be. All right. Can you tell me anything about the shrine now that I've paid you? I'm not going to worry about the rune. I've got the mantra. All right. Uh, let's talk to the Ankh here. Om. Search for the rune of spirituality in the treasure chamber of Britannia. Oh, interesting. I'm guessing because there was that one treasure chamber that was off of the, I think off the throne room in Lord British's castle. I'm guessing that's where that's going to be. Okay, so as I remember, there was a guard there, so hopefully uh, she, he or she is not going to have a problem with us searching as long as we don't try to take the gold. Half I found the shrine. Nope. Enter the gate of full moons. Enter the gate of full moons. So full moon is Minoc. So I'm confused. So the Ankh has provided everything except given us a clue that I don't understand. Uh, another. All right. So we have a mystic and healer. Let's talk to them first. Welcome. This it says peace and joy with you. Are you in need of help? So if we needed healing, uh, it would be me. Okay, yeah, I can't even afford it. Nope. I, I didn't really. I mean, I'm only down 19 health points. Or actually, I'm more than that because I think I, uh, I don't know. Um, you meet a short, dumpy man with a book. He says, I am Roma Romasco. What's your job? I'm a teacher. I enrich young minds. Teacher, I teach of the abyss. This could be handy. Know ye of the abyss? Well, I know some. I've heard of it. A word of passage is needed at the last gate. All right. Word. Seek Zare, the wise, in pause for more on the word. And we've heard about pause before. We've not we've not yet found pause. That's another uh, village. Can you tell me anything about pause? I don't think you're going to want to join me. No. All right. So that's that's the only thing I think that we're lacking at this point is to find a companion, a great philosopher. What's your name? I am Buddha. All right. Job. I teach. When one has pity on all living creatures, then one is noble. If one speaks or acts with pure thought, happiness will follow like a shadow that never leads. Leaves. Okay. I don't think he's going to want to come join my little group killing things. All right. So we're missing, we're missing some things. I mean, we're missing, there should be a companion here. We've not yet found the companion, but um, I'm over my time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it here. Yeah, we've got, we've got other places more to explore here. So we're going to pause here in Scarbray and we're going to come back next time and finish up our exploration of this town. Thank you so much for joining me on our, on our adventure here. And I do hope you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.